we doing, team? How are we bloody doing? It's been a long time since I've done a video. Um, I'm just in the process of doing a wee face mask. Um, so don't panic about this situation. <laughs> What's underneath is what really matters, right? Um, it's a ordinary face mask. I think it's got red carrot in it or beetroot or something like that. So I'll um, show you that in a minute once I take it off. But I thought I'd just jump on here and give you an update because it's been about a year, maybe even more, I think, since I've done a wee update on my skin. Um, Rocky came down to say hello. She's always like, what have you got on your face, mum? Why do you look like that? Because. It's all about the beauty. Um, yeah, so it's been a year. So once I take this off, you should be able to see how we're doing with my skin. I am not on uh, doxycycline anymore. I think in my last video, I said that the doctor advised me to get off it. And so, yeah, it's been over a year now. And I am feeling pretty good about my skin. I think... Like, I was so lucky in my teenage years, I never had acne at all, never had to worry about skin issues at all. And then, obviously, um, when I hit about 21, that's when it sort of started. So it's like the whole um, adult acne sort of thing. And I think that's maybe just how my skin's developed over the years. Um, but it's definitely nowhere near what it was like at the start. So that's good. I'm happy. Um, I did, last couple of weeks, I did think about going back on it, um, just because I think I was going through some hormonal changes or something like that, and so I was getting quite bad breakouts around my chin, but again, I looked back at pictures of what my skin used to be like, and I was like, Anna, you're overreacting, overreacting, don't be silly now. Um, I also went to the doctor a week ago, and I got a... Myrena, Marina, however you want to say it, put in. Um, I think some places call it an IUD. It's just a little um, insert that they put in your cervix and in your uterus for contraception. So I've tried pills over the years. I've tried um, the little rod in your arm twice. I had to get the rod removed twice after about three, three, four months because um, I was just bleeding constantly, massive mood swings. Um, and then the doctor who put the first one in um, broke it. It broke in half. So that one had to be removed for that reason as well. Um, so it's just been a bad bad run with contraception. So I've been off it for a, for a, just over a year. Um, haven't been taking anything and I feel like my body's leveled out a little bit, um, which is good. So I thought I would try another form of contraception because I've yeah, I don't want the risk of getting pregnant. That's always a, a big worry. Although I, yeah, I like that I was able to give my body a chance to just woo after the antibiotics and after trying all sorts of different contraception. I think it needed that. So, um, yeah, that's sort of where I'm at. I'm going to go and wash this face mask off now. Oh, you can see that bloody beauty there. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is the annoying ones that pop up all the time. But oh well. Right, I'll go and wash this off and I'll show you my fresh face. Righty, oh, so this is what we're looking like. Um, I've actually seen better days. I think maybe just because I've done the face mask. Um, it goes a little bit discolored but that's one thing I did notice after coming off doxycycline is probably like two months after it um all my sort of hyperpigmentation came back and the scarring wasn't going away as quickly but obviously that's what medication does it speeds up um the process of everything so it's just something that I'm dealing with but so uh, one thought I didn't say before now that I'm on this contraception if my skin does do a freak out I think I might possibly go on doxycycline just for a little bit, just because of how well it worked last time with just getting everything under control. If it does have a big freak out, like this is fine, I can deal with this, it's whatever. Um, but if I start getting sort of like the cheeky, cysty ones, that's when I'll think about going back on it um, and maybe just do like a three month stint on that and just see how we go. I was just watching the video back and I'm just about to post it. 
Um, I'm just going to put in this little snippet. The reason why I was going to go back on doxycycline as well, why I was thinking about it, is because I've broken out in like all sorts of back acne. Um, it's looking a hell of a lot better now than what it was. It started maybe like four months ago, so it's looking better now, but um, I'm not really sure where it came from because I've never, even through all of my facial acne, I've never had back acne. Like I've always had the clearest back ever. And so, yeah, the last six months I've had like quite, quite big like pustules on there and they're quite sore. Um, and then lately they've just sort of been turning into little blackheads, which is a little bit better, but it's annoying when we're coming into summer and I want to be wearing crop tops and whatnot. So um, that's why I was thinking about it. But I'm just going to see how it goes with this new contraception because it might blow up even more and then I can sort of just work out. So I'm going to give it three months on this contraception and then see how we go. Um, yeah, uh, it's a bit awkward to show you. That's what it looks like. Yuck. So bad. Most of those are little scars, but um, yeah, it's not good. Not good at all. The only thing that I can think of that may have triggered that is that I've been wearing um, polyprops, like thermals, over winter because it's been very cold here and I work in a big warehouse and it was freezing in there. So I was wearing like five layers and I think maybe the friction or the sweating underneath them possibly caused it. Um, so we'll see how it goes over summer now that it can breathe a bit more. But yeah, I'll, I'll touch base again about that. Because not really sure. Merry Christmas to everybody. Tis the season to be jolly. Pa la 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 la. We've got our little presents down there. It's a very cute little Christmas tree. And you didn't have to fluff it, which I love. It was just like a just a wee stand in there, and then you put this thing over the top, and then it's got little lights, and you put the little star up. Super easy. Super easy. So yeah, um, that's where I'm at. I was also going to just show you what products I'm using at the moment. So I think the last video I did, I was still using this cleanser. It was a new one that I found because the other one that I was using, the Simple brand, um, the supermarket stopped selling it. So I was using this one, which will be backwards for you guys, but it's Asano Hydrating Rose Hip Gel Foaming Cleanser. Um, and it's really, really gentle on my skin and it hasn't made it freak out at all. So I've just kept using that. Although, although I went to get another bottle the other day from the supermarket and they didn't have it. So I had to get this other one. Just made me think of that. So this one's a same brand, but, uh, it's the only cleanser they had. Um, collagen boost cream cleanser, cream cleanser, uh, I think it's got mostly the same ingredients, so we should be good. So I'll just, I'll use that for a month or so and just see how it goes. But I'll try and find this one again, because you should just stick to what you know, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, and then so I wash my face once at night time after work and get all the grime and yuck off my face. But in the morning, I just use warm water. No face cloth, no nothing. Um, just warm water and then pat it dry with a towel and then... After I wash my face, I use this stuff. So it's the ordinary. And why? I don't know. If people who are vloggers actually do this stuff with their iPhone all the time, I don't know how they function. Lucky I'm just a, an amateur vlogger and just do one of these every few months or so. Um, yeah, so that's the niacinamide. 10% plus zinc, 1%. And I've been using that for about a year and a half now. And I freaking love it um i did i emailed the ordinary and they gave me like a skincare plan that they would recommend for me and they did put in the hyaluronic acid as well but it just feels a little bit too tacky for my skin like and it makes it quite oily during the day so i i don't use that anymore if i run out of this for whatever reason i have the hyaluronic acid there so i use it if i have nothing else but no, and then the face mask that I just had on is this stuff. So again, the ordinary. Um, it's AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. Um, and you leave it on for 10 minutes. And it just makes my face feel so soft. Like I know it looks a bit textured, but super, super soft. 
and if you're going to put makeup on um, it just goes on really really smoothly and beautiful but yeah again that side has always been the bad side which is really annoying but hey super super happy with how I'm going do, 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 do. um yeah so that's that I'll keep you updated on what happens with this contraception um I'm quite interested to see how I go on it so it's been a week and I'm not feeling anything apart from a few little cramps in my belly um but yeah that's me peace out y'all see you in the next one